Hi there, Kelly Burris, Licensed Marriage and Family Therapist in the state of California. And today we are going to be going over how to set up visual targets for EMDR when we're doing telehealth or online therapy. We don't always need to do this. Sometimes we do tapping. Sometimes we use different software to move eyes back and forth. Sometimes I just turn my screen towards my light bar and you guys watch it that way. But it doesn't always work out. If there's some sort of technical problem where the Wi-Fi isn't super hot in your area, or if you're using your cell phone where we don't get a big range of eye movements, we might need to get creative. But that's not a problem because I know what to do. So check this out. All we're going to need is some post-its and a pen. Now, if you're using a laptop and you've got a nice big screen or you've got like you're a gamer and you've got some big old setup, that's no problem. We can use the top of your computer to set up a target. If you've got some little guy like this, right, it's not going to work. So if we had targets set up like this, this is not going to be far enough for your eyes to look back and forth. So we need you to be able to get a full range of eye movement like this with your targets. Now, I'm going to be there making sure that it all works out right, but I don't want to waste a bunch of our session time setting it up. So you're going to be able to take a look at this video and get some ideas about your situation and where we can do this. Post-its, little circles drawn on it. We can go ahead, stick them on the lamp at the same height. Now we want this to be level with your gaze. So right now it looks a little high to me because of perspective, but I would set these up so they're straight across from my eyes. So let's say you don't have two groovy little lamps sitting there that you can use, but you still have your post-its. We don't need those lamps. Find the spot on the wall where you have your natural gaze. When you're looking across from them, are you looking straight at the dots and then move you sit in the middle and move your eyes and you'll be able to feel if your eyes are going all the way over to the corners or not that's what we're trying to get you got a bunch of pictures on your wall can't stick on post-its how about something else we're getting creative right you can just go ahead and set your targets on your Pellegrino bottles you see, I'm getting the point where I want you to realize it can really be anything. As long as it doesn't have a lot of visual interest and the things that are in your gaze don't have an emotional charge, it will work. Now, we make it a little better by adding a metronome to it. I totally wish this was my idea, but it was not. I got it from a trainer in Colorado and I can't remember his name and I haven't been able to find the video link yet, but if I do, I'll put it down there to give him credit. But what I'm going to do is set a metronome on my end to give you the, the beats to look. So it'll be like click, 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 and I'll be able to go faster or slower depending on what we need for your session. So take a look around your house somewhere where you're going to have good Wi-Fi where we can still talk. I'm going to want to still be able to see you so I can watch you process and get visual clues from you. But getting your eyes moving back and forth with targets can work in a situation where technology has not been kind to us or we don't have a strong Wi-Fi connection. If you're not my client and you've just come across this video, no worries. I hope you get your targets set up well. And go ahead, like, subscribe, and I'll keep making videos like this for us.